Hello, friends. Today, we are about to explore the mesmerizing world of walnut processing in factories. Let's roll. Once you've picked your spot, it's time to prepare the soil. In the case of soil preparation, cranes and planter machines are used. Now comes the exciting part. Workers select and plant walnut trees. Workers dig a hole slightly larger than the root ball and ensure that the graft union is above the soil. Proper pruning is done to maximize sunlight exposure and air circulation. Also, pruning helps prevent disease and promotes vigorous growth. After optimal growth, the top and side branches of the trees are cut using a mechanical pruning machine. Next, excess branches and leaves are cleaned from the walnut growing site with cleaners. To keep walnut trees thriving, a consistent supply of water is essential, especially during their first few years. Drip irrigation helps deliver water directly to the roots, mulch around the base to retain moisture, and control weeds. Many species of walnut trees start producing at 7 to 8 years of age, but take up to 15 years to fully mature. Healthy and mature walnut trees produce from 30 to 160 kilograms of walnuts, but this production cannot be achieved every year. The harvester is aligned with the rows of walnut trees, adjusts the shaking process of the machine according to the size and type of walnut tree. This customization ensures optimal shaking to remove ripe walnuts, reducing stress on the tree. The shaker of the harvester vibrates the trees violently, causing ripe walnuts to rain down on the conveyor belt below. These conveyor belts efficiently move the fallen walnuts to the collection bin. Once collected, the walnuts are transported to a sorting area. Here, any leaves, twigs, or debris are removed using air blowers and mechanical separators. This step ensures that the chopped walnuts are clean and free of unwanted material. The cleaned walnuts are collected and stored in containers, ready for further processing or distribution to the market. Modern harvesting machinery significantly reduces the time and labor required for this stage. Then, these walnuts are loaded into trucks and taken directly to the factory. Our second journey begins when the freshly harvested walnuts arrive at the factory's processing facility via conveyor belts and specially designed containers. Walnuts are then taken to the washing room of the factory. In the washing room, the walnuts are spotless to remove any dirt or debris. After the cleaning process, they are ready to be processed further in the factory. After washing, these walnuts are taken to a dry room through the flow belt. In the dry room, the walnuts are carefully spread out to ensure proper air circulation for drying. This process helps remove any remaining moisture and enhances the shelf life of the walnuts. The next step is holing and shelling. So, the walnuts are transported by forklift to the holing and shelling room. In this room, specialized machinery is used to remove the outer holes of the walnuts. Once holed, the walnuts are then transferred to another machine that cracks open their shells, revealing the edible nut inside. It's incredible to see how technology can delicately handle this process. The shelled walnuts are then sorted and graded based on various factors such as size, color, and quality. This meticulous sorting ensures that only uniform nuts move forward in the processing line. Before handling these walnuts, workers wash their hands thoroughly using automatic hand washers and sanitizer machines. The workers, with their skilled hands, remove the remaining shell along with the nuts from the conveyor belt. On the other hand, 
This flowing belt ends up going in front of a certain container. As a result, these walnuts accumulate in that container. Later, these containers are taken to the collection room of the factory by forklifts, where these nuts are collected. In the collection room, the nuts undergo a thorough inspection to ensure quality and remove any impurities. If the walnuts pass the quality testing process, well, they are ready to be packaged for distribution. The packaging journey begins with the arrival of freshly processed walnuts. These nuts have been cleaned, shelled, and carefully sorted for uniformity. They're now ready to be packaged and delivered to your table. First, workers fill the whole walnuts directly into specific plastic containers, which you can see on the screen now. These pure walnuts are filled in big sack bags through an automatic filling machine. The automatic filling machine ensures that the sack bags are filled accurately and efficiently, saving time and labor. Once filled, the bags are sealed and ready for transportation or storage. The walnuts come through the conveyor and are filled into the bottom paper container. In this case, two things happen simultaneously. Containers come through the conveyor belt, and walnuts are filled into those containers by the filling machine. Once the walnuts are filled, the packaging material is efficiently sealed. After these, the containers go through the conveyor belt to the robotic hand, where the robot arranges these containers in stages and wraps them with polythene. Here, this special filling machine fills walnuts in small polythene packets. Then these small packets are put together in a large paper container. Now these containers are ready for sale in the market. After packaging perfection, our walnuts embark on a worldwide adventure. They are carefully transported to various destinations across the globe, ensuring their freshness and quality are maintained throughout the journey. Thanks for joining our journey through the mesmerizing world of walnut processing. Remember, every nut has a story. Keep craving knowledge with us, discover the magic behind your favorite snack, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay nutty.